Hi, I'm Karen, a Master Gardener in Sonoma County. I'm here at Harvest for the Hungry. And this is a great season to be growing brassicas, which are cabbages, kale, broccoli, that type of thing. And one of the problems with that family of plants is that they can get some pests. And the most common is the uh, cabbage moth. And they're the really pretty white butterfly looking things that you'll see flying around your garden but they do like to eat the brassica leaves. So there's a couple things you can do to prevent the damage. One of them would be to cover the plants, just like you see here. This is a, a mesh cover, and there's happens to be Swiss chard under there. Um, if you don't cover them, then I'll show you some of the damage that you might be seeing. And here are some leaves and you can see how they've been eaten. So when you see damage like this, you know that you want to be doing something about it. And there's a couple choices. One would be to look very carefully at the leaves and pick off the caterpillars that you'll see by hand. The damage that you see caused by those, pretty, well, it's not caused by the cabbage moth, the white butterfly looking thing. Uh, they, those butterflies lay their eggs and the eggs hatch caterpillars. The caterpillars are what do the eating. And then they um, spin a cocoon, which you can see here. And then another cabbage moth appears. So when you see this kind of damage, as I said, you can hand pick the caterpillars or the other choice is to spray. And I'll show you that next. So here is a nice row of broccoli that has been sprayed with Bt thuringiensis, I think is how pronounced, and it's a soil occurring bacteria that makes caterpillars sick. And it gets sprayed onto the leaves and the caterpillars eat it and then they die. It's uh, one step above hand picking in um, its impact, environmental impact because uh, the Bt is a soil occurring bacteria and because it breaks down quickly it doesn't uh, build up in the groundwater it, it just breaks down really quickly so um, as pest management goes it's very low impact uh, so this row got sprayed twice with the Bt and it has very little damage to the leaves which are of course necessary for the plant to continue growing and producing its crop. So, so here is one product that, w that you can use and I just want you to see the main ingredient on that. You can see it says Bacillus thuringiensis. That's what you would be looking for. The brand isn't, isn't important. And it's also useful to have some kind of uh, spreader that helps it stick to the leaves. It can uh, roll off quite easily and something like this could help in uh, helping it stick. Again, brand isn't important. Um, one of these ingredients could be useful and it's something that you could definitely ask for at your garden centre. Thank you.